All right, welcome to day three, 4.3, permutations and identical items. Um, today we'll be looking at how we can do permutations with things that are the same. Um, example on the screen here is the Mandelbrot set. If we zoom in anywhere on the Mandelbrot set, eventually you'll come back to the exact same picture that you see now. So it's kind of working on that idea of identical items. Um, so to get started, we'll look at uh, comparing the permutations of two words, Rome and room. So permutations of Rome, you can see where they all are, um, 24 all together, you can count them if you want. So you can see that you know, we start with R, start with O, start with A, start with M, and we arrange the other letters as, as as you want. Okay. As for room, if you look here, here's our permutations. Um, because of the double O and we can't really identify the difference between them, we can see that there's only 12 permutations instead of 24. Hopefully you can start seeing that hmm, there's two O's, half as many permutations. How does that apply to our formula? If we had a formula. Well, here's our formula. Okay, so, again, remember, recall from the other day when we said the permutation of n items is n factorial. Then we're going to divide by the number of identical items. So, if we go back to our example, we had 24 permutations of Rome. And if we divide by 2 with the two identical O's in Rome, you can see that. 24 divided by 2 is 12, which is the answer for the number of permutations for room. room. How does that work with maximum? Let's apply a formula. Okay, so there's seven letters in maximum, so seven factorial, and there's three m's, so three factorial, so seven factorial divided by three factorial, it's 840 permutations. Okay, minimum. Okay, so again, we have seven letters. In this case, we have three M's and two I's. So we have seven factorial divided by three factorial times two factorial, which is only 200, or 420 permutations. Okay. Another example, we have 10 black blocks in a children's play plan. If we want to watch the child make stack the blocks, how many different stacks can they make? They have four blue blocks, three red blocks, two yellow blocks, and one green block. So we know there's ten, 10 blocks. Since there's 10 blocks, the numerator is going to be 10 factorial. And similarly, the denominator is going to be 4 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial, since there's four blue blocks, three red blocks, and two yellow blocks. So the total number of stacks is equal to 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial which is 12,600 stacks, ways that we can stack the 10 blocks. Okay, it was a really short lesson, so go and try the questions in 1 to 4.